Good morning, you guys. <laughs> Welcome to the kitchen. Um, oops, what am I doing? <laughs> I was gonna pour water in here as if thinking it was my pot for my for my coffee. Um, I'm gonna make an omelet this morning, and I'm gonna film the weekly readings because I totally forgot. I totally forgot to um to film them yesterday. Well, actually I didn't forget. <laughs> I remembered that I needed to film them, but then I didn't because I wasn't wearing any makeup and I wasn't feeling really connected at all to do a reading. That's why I didn't do readings at all yesterday. It was actually kind of nice to have a break. So, um, so yeah, <laughs> I didn't do anything. Yesterday was just my day off. It was so nice. It was really nice, you guys. I usually put this stuff first, but forgot. Oops. Oh well. Oh well. I'm wearing like a semi, like a quarter inch sleeve blouse today. And I'm still trying to decide if I want to wear this today to work because um, it's going to be semi cooler today. Like literally the, the weather app says um, 79 down where I work at the high. So it's, it's, Barely gonna hit 80 degrees, if that. Um, so I'm kind of like, ooh, I could wear one of my quarter inch sleeve um, tops, you know? Let's have it less on me, more on the food. <laughs> um, and so I'm just like, maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll just wear this, so we'll see. I haven't decided. I'm one of those people like I'll change my outfit <laughs> a couple times before I leave the house because I, I like to dress for comfort so if I'm not comfortable if I'm hot in what I'm wearing or whatever then I'm gonna be miserable the whole day so I have to make sure I'm comfortable um, otherwise I'm not gonna be feeling it <laughs> so yeah I was like, I woke up this morning, I got a really, really good night's sleep, but I woke up this morning thinking about coffee. I was like, I cannot wait to have a cup of coffee. So, looking forward to that. All right. I want to be like one of those professional cooks that can like flip their eggs <laughs> just by flipping the flipping the pan, you know. I wish I could do that, but I'm not that fancy. Get my plates. Oh God, a work week. I'm not really looking forward to going to work, you guys. <laughs> like, my, my daily post today when I was talking about procrastinating, it's work that I was talking about. I'm procrastinating doing a display. Um, I just don't feel it. Like, I don't feel like doing it. I'm, 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 I'm looking forward to doing my Halloween display, though. But the other one, I'm like, ugh. I just don't... I feel like I don't have time to to do those things because I'm on desk all the time and I don't really have time to do it. And then when I'm off desk, I have off desk stuff to do. So it's like, I'm busy, I'm busy at work. I'm busy, I'm busy, I can't do it all. <laughs> but we'll see. Once I get going with it, once I get going with it, it usually, it's usually not that bad. So yeah, I have some cilantro. couple pieces left. Starla, she's 
so hyper, you guys. My egg is all, it's not even perfect. But that's life, right? We're not perfect. <laughs> I haven't decided um, if I'm gonna keep up with the video diaries or not. I know some of you guys like to watch them, but I haven't decided if that's gonna be like a usual or not. I don't know. I don't know, you guys, we'll see. <clears throat> I like to put a little bit of sour cream on my eggs. I'm gonna need a spoon, a little coffee. So I usually put like a dollop of sour cream mm. and then some ketchup. <laughs> My strawberries are getting bad. They're starting to They're starting to go bad, but I think they'll be good for another day or two. My sister is always like telling me that I throw my strawberries out too soon. She's like, they're still good. And I'm like, they don't look good to me. <laughs> She's like, you're crazy, you're wasteful. I just, I don't like to eat like wrinkled, nasty looking strawberries. Like I like them to be fresh, but once they're in the fridge for so long, they're not fresh anymore. So this morning I woke up and I had both of the cats, um, both of the cats were on the bed with me. And that was so sweet, you guys, because usually they don't wanna be on the bed together. Like usually the cats fight so much. And um, so to have them both on the bed with me was just like the cutest thing ever. <laughs> it was so sweet. as I am with, with my breakfast because I feel like my breakfast like I feel like I got the hang of it and then my dinners it's more like I struggle like I, I struggle with what to cook I struggle with um, um, uh, cooking it <laughs> I am not a cook I do not like to cook where's my cow oh, here you are I think I'm good. Nice and fast breakfast. That only took like 15 minutes. I don't know how long did it take. Nine minutes. That's how long the video is. All right. Oh, let me sit down. Move you guys over here so you guys can see me. Actually, I'm gonna eat first, do the video reading, the the daily reading, and then um, I'll come back for you guys, okay? All right, I think, I think that's good. So, <laughs> I was doing my, um, my daily, my daily, I was doing my weekly energy readings right now, I just finished, 
And I showcased the Magical Herb Oracle, which is a deck. I, I recently purchased this um, the same day, actually, as I purchased the An Antique Anatomy Tarot. I went to Barnes & Noble on a random day, literally right after work. The, the store was going to close within like 45 minutes, and I'm like, I'm just going to stop and see what it there is. Because it's just like, like, you ever feel like a pull towards going to a certain store and you don't know why? And then when you get in there, you realize that's the reason why. Because there was something waiting for you there. <laughs> At least that's how I, I validate my purchase choices. Um, let me push this back a little bit. So um, when I went into the Barnes & Noble, first off, they had the Magical Herb Oracle. Which I've been looking for another herb oracle. And I'm really close to buying the... Um, the hedge witch one you know it's like a, the white cards with the really pretty um illustrations so i'm probably still gonna buy that one because i really like the way it looks <clears throat> but um i wanted this one and, and barnes and noble had it and then they didn't have it for a while and then when i went in that night literally they had it so i was like yes so i was like oh this is probably why why my intuition was pulling me towards that exit off the freeway. Um, and then as I was walking more through the, the metaphysical aisle, <laughs> this deck was on display. And I was like, oh my gosh, it's in, they have it. So I already own the Antique Anatomy Tarot, the Ephemera edition. It's the indie copy of this deck. So this is the mass produced version. Um, and whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Almost spilled my nail polish. You know what? Let me just paint the nails real fast. So I have a couple chipped nails from yesterday after all of my all of my crafting, and um, I need to touch it up because I can't stand when I have like freshly painted nails. Like I literally just did these a couple days ago, and it's already chipping, and I'm just like, why? So I think it I I think I chipped it because I was um crafting. So I was doing a lot of cutting and a lot of like just crafting. Look at this one. This one is like ugh. So especially when it's dark polish, I can't stand that. Like when it when you can really notice that there's a chip. So I know it's probably gonna re-chip because usually when you just paint over it like that, it'll do it again. But at least for the to the day, hopefully, it'll look okay. And then I'll just take the whole polish off later and, and redo my entire nail. So, <laughs> oh, and I have another one. Oh my gosh. <coughs> you know what my problem is? Is because I don't put clear coat on top after I paint my nails. So I bet you if I were to do clear coat on top, it would probably help from the chipping. I don't know. Or it could just be cheap polish. Yeah, because this is LA Colors. I think this is a Dollar Tree. <laughs> I think it's a Dollar Tree brand. So, of course, you know, cheap nail polish. I may as well just fucking do the whole thing. Oops, it's a lot. I love the way... I love the way gray nails look next to, like, yellows and greens. and I just love gray nails for fall. And my mom keeps telling me, it's not fall, it's still summer, because my mom loves summer. Her birthday's in summer, and she's just all about summer. And I'm like, nope, fall season is here, mom. Fall is here. Okay, <laughs> I'm just gonna paint all of them. Why not, I'm here. I'm here and I have time, I don't have to leave for work for an hour, so they'll have time to dry. Um, so yeah, this if you guys are wondering what color it is, it's the LA Colors Color Craze Nail Polish, and it is in the shade uh, number 207, but it doesn't tell me, it doesn't tell me what, what, what it is. Sorry guys, I don't know, but it's like a, it's a charcoal gray color, it's really pretty. So, let them, uh, <laughs> I'll let them uh, dry. 
So I so I saw the the antique anatomy tarot and I was like, oh, this is a, also another reason why I was meant to go. So I really like the aesthetic of these two decks. Ooh, excuse me, together. Because the antique anatomy tarot has skulls and stuff. It's like and, and your anatomy and then it also has flowers and so and then match that with an herb oracle. They just go together. So the herb oracle has let me see if I could do this. The herb oracle has really pretty backs. And it's a nice typical oracle size compared to like the tarot cards. Um and the imagery on this deck is just super, super pretty. So you guys will see it showcased in my um, weekly readings. If you wanna go check it out, go to my, my Instagram and look at it. Um, and then the Antique Anatomy. So I like I said, I have the indie deck version and then this is the mass produced and oh, it's beautiful. There's a lot of changes with this deck versus the indie deck, which I'll probably do a video this weekend where I compare the two because I did sit and compare card by card the day that I got it. So I can honestly say that like the majority of the major arcana has differences. Um, one or two cards looks completely different. Um, and then a lot of the minor arcana there's differences too and um they're subtle but there's you could tell the difference like you, you could really notice it if you have the deck side by side so um this is the card backs of the the regular the the mass produced and they're really flimsy so <laughs> a lot of people were very upset over that um at least i could tell from the comments where people were whoa, where people were like leaving comments about the deck they were not very happy with the cardstock. I gotta say, I'm not very happy either. Um, it's really thin, just like, I don't know if you guys are aware or are familiar with the Vertigo Tarot. So the Vertigo Tarot, I think it's the second edition, has really thin cardstock, like it's papery. Um, it's like that. Um, it's also like the Line Strider Tarot. So if you guys are familiar with that, my, one of my friends owns that deck. I don't own it, but my friends own it. And um, she, so she let me, obviously she let me play with her cards a couple times. And the cardstock is very similar. So it's really thin, like this, the Line Strider. Um, so the thin cardstock kind of sucks because when it bends, it holds, it holds the bend. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, so when I shuffle, I shuffle one way and then I flip them over and I shuffle the opposite way to kind of get rid of that bend. Um, but it is a mass produced deck. So the cardstock will be cheaper. It's not the, it's not the artist's fault. Um, but the other thing is, is, um, if you need to get a backup copy, at least the deck itself isn't as expensive. Um, I think I paid 20, 28 for this one, 25, 28, it's 29.99. Um, but I had a, I have the Barnes and Noble rewards thing, so I get 10% off. And um, I also had a 20% off coupon. So I didn't pay full price for the deck, but um, $30, you know, yeah, I guess it's a little pricey, but you could easily replace it versus like the indie decks. They are significantly pricier because you're supporting that the artist. Um, but also, um, I don't know. I, I don't know if you could still get the indie version. I'm not sure. I don't think so. But um, I love Claire, Claire Goodchild. I love her artwork. I love her stuff. I own almost all of her decks. I don't own the first edition of the Antique Anatomy Tarot. I would love to own that one day, but I don't, <laughs> um, but I love her cards. She has beautiful artwork. She has just, her her aesthetic is my taste. Um, and so when I saw this one, <clears throat> I was like, I already own the copy, but I want this one. I just want it. And so why not? And yeah, the cardstock's really thin, but that means that my indie version will be, you know, meant for just me to, to play with versus this one would be like what I would pull out for general readings and stuff for people. So it is what it is. Um, the only up, upside of, I'll be, I'll just throw in a little positive. The only upside of thin cardstock is that it shuffles really easy. So, but yeah. <laughs> 
So that's that. And then um, the other thing I really freaking love about this deck is the guidebook is so pretty. So I'll go into it in detail in a video, but um, I just wanted to share that with you guys. So yeah. <laughs> so um, the video diaries, um, I'm almost done with the 30 day challenge. So we're, I think this is video number 23. Um, I think out of the entire month, like 30 days, I think I skipped out on two days. I know for one day for sure, um, but hey, so I didn't complete the challenge like daily like you're supposed to, but <laughs> I, you know, it's, it was still good. It, it's been a good experience. So um, I have to say though that this experience with the video diaries, like what it's taught me is to not be afraid to put whatever I want on my channel. Um, so I don't, just because I am a tarot reader or just because my channel is the cackling moon and it's you know all about tarot, doesn't mean that I have to limit myself and my videos to just tarot cards. Um, that I can do other videos like my daily diaries where I just cook and we just talk um, and all of that. So it's it's the doing this daily video thing, like these little vlogs or whatever you want to call them. Um, it's really shown me that I don't have to limit myself to just tarot. Um, let's talk about a book I'm reading. So the book I'm currently reading is Three Days Missing. This is by the same author as The Marriage Lie. <laughs> I really like her writing style. I really love her books. So this was the other copy that we have at my library. So it's called The Three Days Missing and it is by Kimberly Bell, B-E-L-L-E. -L -L -E. Um, and I really, really, really like it. I'm really into her books. Um, she has a few other books, but my library that I work at, we don't have um, we don't have the other ones. And there's a local library not too far away that I think I still have a card from. So I gotta drop in and check them out because um, I really wanna read her other things. Or I could just order it off of um, thrift books, read it myself, and then donate it to my library so that's the other thing I do <laughs> that's another thing I do um is like I've donated the handmaid's tale because I think I told you guys before I bought um I bought a copy at Target and then I was like out and about and I bought another copy thinking I didn't have the first you know that I didn't have it and then I realized oh shit like I already had a copy so <laughs> so I ended up donating one of my one of my copies to my library and they put it in the system and so people check it out. So whenever I see people checking it out, I'm like, oh, that's my book. <laughs> so that's what I do sometimes um, is if it, it's like, it's an excuse for me to buy a book, but then it's also, I know that it's not gonna just pile up in my house. Um, so I will instantly just don't like, just, just donate it to the library and they can use it and they can add it into the system and it's just, someone else can enjoy something because Every once in a while we get those patrons that like come in and I know that they read the kind of stuff I like to read because I always see them checking out stuff and I'm like, ooh, I wanna read that, I wanna read that. And like there's this particular man, he comes in and he loves sci-fi books. I think, I just realized I'm like really pink under here and that's because my, um, my eczema is itching me and I don't put makeup over it. So if I look pink under my nose, that's why. <laughs> um, and my nose is ready. Um, so there's this man that comes into the library and he checks out nothing but sci-fi books. And we have a huge sci-fi section in our library. Even he said that he's he loves our sci-fi section because it's larger than other libraries. Um, and we have a lot of like old stuff. So he, I'm always looking at him checking out what he's checking out and stuff because he's always finding these like really interesting looking books. And he likes the, the complicated sci-fi books, like like the series stuff, but he, he likes like all of these like crazy ones that just look like they have cheesy covers on them, but they look so interesting. So um, I'm always telling him like, ooh, what's this one about? Or was this one good? And, and, <laughs> and so he would, you know, he'll talk to me about this sci-fi stuff. 
And I haven't worked up the, the, the courage to ask him, like, if you could recommend, you know, a sci-fi book to someone who's maybe like a beginner in the sci-fi stuff. Like, what would you recommend, you know, for me? So I want to ask him one of these days, but I don't really work the checkout counter as much anymore. Um, I'm more of a reference kind of a gal now. <laughs> so I work the children's and the adult reference books, reference desks. Um, so I'm not so much in the front counter, so I really don't see him often, but, um, yeah, <laughs> so that was like one of my favorite things about working in libraries is I always see what people are checking out and then I get ideas or I get first dibs on a lot of the new stuff that we have coming in, unless a patron already has a hold on the book, but chances are they usually don't. So, um, if there's something that I see that's new coming out, and I want it, I'll put a hold on it, and then I get it first, and it's like <sighs> cracking into a brand new book, <laughs> which is like the best feeling ever. So any of you guys that are like bookworms, like you're into books and stuff. Um, oh, I just touched my hair with my nails, but you guys are probably like, but wait, it's wet. But this polish dries really fast. Like it's already, it's already really dry. So um, what was I saying? Um, God damn it. <laughs> um, I can't remember what I was talking about. God, I hate when I do that. Let me think. <laughs> I don't remember. Oh my God, I hate when that happens. Sorry guys. My mind is like always going from boop, 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 like all over the place. Um, that's just the way I am. Like. I have a short attention span at times and sorry, 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 sorry. Oh my God. So anyways, um, that's probably gonna bug some of you guys. So if you wanna know whatever I was talking about and you wanna know like what I just said, let me know <laughs> and I'll finish my sentence. I don't remember though, sorry. Ooh, relaxing body lotion. And this is from Sprouts. Have you guys? Do you guys have a Sprouts where you guys live? Like, I know you're all out of state, out of California. But here in California, we have a Sprouts. And um, we don't have one up here in the desert, which, God, they need to, they need to put one up here or a Trader Joe's. Um, but I go to Sprouts on my way to work sometimes. And, um, and, um. I go to Sprouts on my way to work, and I found out that on Wednesdays they have sushi day, so it's sushi five dollars sushi on Wednesdays, and so they have, like you know, like where you go to the deli and stuff in, in the market. So they have a sushi chef that's there, and he makes sushi, and they, he puts them out in the little packages and stuff, and you just buy it and you go. So now that I know that they're doing that, I'm like, oh my god, five dollars. So I went and I bought a um, a Philly roll, which was really good. Um, so for five bucks, like you can't beat that, like a $5 lunch. So I had a Philly roll for lunch last Wednesday and this Wednesday I'm definitely going to go back and get one. Um, but I have to be good because when I go to Sprouts or Trader Joe's, I love their lotion section because they always have lavender scented everything. Um, and it's not like, it's not like the florally, well, lavender is a flower, but it's not like the, um, like the fake essential oil scents you know what I mean like it there's you'll know when it's lavender <laughs> versus like something else or it's mixed with other stuff um so I find that those like these health food places they have like the legit lotions and um this one was oh it says vegan at the bottom so some of you guys will be happy about that <laughs> Um, but some of these lotions, like they, it smells so good. Like this smells, it's, it's argan, arg, organic argan oil, organic cocoa butter and shea butter, lavender chamomile. It smells so good, you guys, so good. Um, so I'm a sucker for lavender scented lotions or creams or whatever, but I love when it smells like lavender, like as if it's the plant is in it, you know, like right there, fresh in it. So it smells so good. That's why I like to buy um, some from people who like to make their own salves, like their own lotions and stuff. Um, the lavender scented, because it always smells just natural and like just pure lavender. So yeah, 
I don't know. I love that stuff. So I'm a sucker for, for sprouts. Ugh, my finger hurts too. I burnt. I I burned my finger yesterday. See, it's all puffy right there. So I have like a little blister because um I burned it yesterday with the the hot glue gun. Oh my god. <laughs> fucking hurt like I was like ah! and like you know you can't do much with it you just it's like burning your finger and I'm like trying to pull it off my finger but then I couldn't because then it would burn my other hand so I'm like standing there like while it's burning my finger I'm the, <laughs> and Starla's just looking at me like what is going on <laughs> so yeah it fucking hurt and now my finger is all swollen like not swollen but it's like there's like a blister on the on the top of it it's all it's like it feels like a callus on my finger so hopefully that, that'll go away. But I put Neo, I ran it under cold water. I put an ice cube and I was just like, I had my finger with an ice cube and that soothes it a little bit. And then, but it fucking hurt for like a good hour. It just like throbbed. And then eventually like it just kind of doled out. And now I'm like a little numb at the tip of my finger. Um, but I put a Band-Aid with Neosporin on it. I left it like that all day yesterday. And then um, I took the band-aid off last night and I just kind of like let it breathe. And then I woke up this morning with it looking like a callus on my finger and I don't have any feeling on it. So <laughs> I'm just like, how long is it gonna take for this to heal? But at least I could like do stuff with it now. Like I could hold a pencil and write because yesterday I couldn't do shit. Like I was like doing everything with like my finger up in the air like this. <laughs> but it hurts so much. Okay, you guys, so it's 9.40. I'm gonna go ahead and end this video diary. I wanna be able to upload it and put it out before I gotta leave for work. Um, today's Tuesday, so it's technically my Monday. Um, I hope you guys have a beautiful rest of your week, and I will be back tomorrow for more video diary shenanigans. Um, but yeah, if you guys wanna know whatever I was last talking about with the book, please leave the comment below um, because I don't remember what I was saying and I'm so sorry. I hate when I do that, but um, like I said, my mind is always like all over the place. <laughs> so I switch gears real fast and then sometimes I I can't remember what I was originally talking about. So that drives my husband nuts too, by the way. <laughs> all right, so anyways, um, I will tap in with you guys later. Love you guys, talk to you guys later. Bye.